In this video we will learn how to draw isometric view of a cylinder. Cylinder is a very common shape in engineering. In our day to day life there are many objects which are cylindrical in shape. For example a glass, a can, these batteries are also cylindrical in shape. There are many cylinders which are used to, for keeping pressurized liquid and gases. Outdoor cylinders we can see the water storage tanks or in factories cylindrical vessels are used for storing oil chemicals. And this is a very very large storage tank which is also cylindrical in shape. Pipelines for oil also cylindrical in shape. There are many buildings which are made in cylindrical shape. In olden days also people have used cylindrical shape for making uh, structures, buildings. In general we find that cylindrical shapes are easy to make and they are aesthetically appealing. So let us look at this example. This is a glue stick and this is a cylindr cylindrical shape. And this is another example of cylindrical shape, a, a container for cream. In isometric view, basically we will try to tilt this object until we can see more than one surface. So for example, in this case, we can see the top surface and also the side surface. After tilting, we try to take the view. We try to make the isometric view. The isometric view will be slightly different from the reality. In real, we see slightly differently. So we will learn how to draw the isometric view. So let us first draw the top view and the front view of the cylinder. Uh, here we will follow the first angle projection system. So we are taking 25 mm as the radius and 60 mm as the height of the cylinder. So this is the top view below the reference line. And we will project the dimension, the diameter dimension uh, to obtain the front view of the cylinder. First we will draw the center line that is the axis of the cylinder. In engineering drawing, we obtain most of the dimensions by projection rather than measuring. So this is the front view above the reference line and the top view is below the reference line. So this is the height of the cylinder which is 60 mm. For drawing isometric view we will use a method which is called four center method and before applying the four center method we will box this, this view, the top view inside a square top surface and the bottom surface of the cylinder will be exactly same. So we will use this top view to draw the isometric view of the base first.
So we will start here. So first we will draw the isometric view of the circular base of the cylinder. For that we, we will first draw the isometric view of the square, the square ABCD. First we draw two lines at 30 degree to the reference line. Then we will measure the sides, for example side AB and we will cut this side AB and the other side is side BC. So in this method first we draw the, the square uh, in a rhombus form or its isometric view. So this is the rhombus and this is the isometric view of the square. Now we will apply the four center method to draw isometric view of the circular base. First we identify the midpoints of the sides. Draw lines from the large angle corner of the rhombus to the midpoints of the sides facing it. From D we draw two lines. And again from the corner B we draw two lines. These lines meet the midpoint of the sides facing it. Now we will use the centers and the radii as shown here and we will draw four arcs. These four arcs together will give us an ellipse and this ellipse is basically the isometric view of the base. The base is circle but in isometric view it will be seen as, as an ellipse and that is because of the tilting. So now the isometric view of the base is ready. We will identify the center of this ellipse because from this center we will draw the axis of the cylinder. So again we will draw a central line which represents the axis of the cylinder. Now we will take the height of the cylinder and we will cut this length from the base center to the top face center. So the distance from the base center to the top face center is 60 mm which is the height of the cylinder. So now we will make a, a rectangular cuboid of height 60 mm which is the same as height of the cylinder. So basically we, will, we are doing this to make isometric view of the top surface. Top surface of the cylinder is also a circle. In isometric view it will be seen as ellipse. It will be exactly same as the base. So now we project the midpoints of the sides using set square. Again we will use the four center method and draw the ellipse.
So these are the four arcs and together these four arcs will make the ellipse which is the isometric view of the top surface of the cylinder. So the isometric view of the top surface is also ready. Now we will connect these two ellipses which represent the, the top face and the base of the cylinder. We will connect them by straight lines. So this is the isometric view of the cylinder. You can erase the construction lines or draw them as thin lines. This is the center line or axis of the cylinder. So this is the final isometric view of a cylinder.